Well, it is Wednesday and I am back in the office just finishing up some work for some clients in Pennsylvania in the office in New Jersey. With that said, I came up with a blog article regarding marijuana legalization and Delaware, when I wrote the article, was still considering whether or not it was going to legalize marijuana and it has. Now, the governor of, of Delaware did not sign the bill into law. He just let it become law by not signing it after a period of time, and that is the law in Delaware. Now, I'm not licensed in Delaware, I don't practice in Delaware, but how does this affect a state like Pennsylvania? Now, now more than likely, Pennsylvania will legalize marijuana like New Jersey has. When that happens, what we're gonna see is an uptick of drugged DUI, both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, and we may even see it coming in from a state like Delaware. A lot of people from Delaware come to Pennsylvania and New Jersey for perhaps the sports game or just to go downtown or to the Jersey Shore. So what we're going to have is a situation where we're going to have a lot of people driving under the influence of marijuana. And people have to understand that if you're under the influence of a drug, even if it's legalized, you are still technically DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey. It's important because people often think about illegal drugs. And now that marijuana is legal, many will just simply admit to the officer, yes, I I smoked some marijuana this morning and thinking that, well, it's legal now, I can do this. And they have basically incriminated themselves. Now, I'm not advising people to drive impaired and simply advising people their constitutional rights. You're not obligated to tell the officer what you've done. You are obligated to, to give the officer your license and registration and be respectful. I always tell people if you're drinking and driving, you, do, you are absolutely wrong. If you're using drugs and driving, you are wrong. My rule of thumb is if I am going out I and I'm going to drink something, I am not driving any alcohol in my system. I'm concerned about possible impairment. That's just me. Many people have a different take on it. They think that they can handle one or two drinks and be fine. I myself know myself and I know if I'm impaired anyway, I don't want to be behind the wheel because it's going to slow my, my reaction time. The first impairment begins with the first drink. That's not just a saying, it's technically true. So again, if you have questions about drug driving in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, or you're coming from a state like, like Delaware, understand that drug driving is still impaired driving and you still could be found guilty of a DUI in Pennsylvania or a DWI in New Jersey. Understand that the officer still has probable cause to stop your car and probable cause to arrest. And that's where your attorney can get into things like pretrial motions to suppress evidence. And obviously trial motions, I'm sorry, trial arguments that your attorney can make, you can discuss those two. Once again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, website, gambonelaw.com. As always, it's a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, and videos are available there in one convenient format. I'm going to link in some blog articles I wrote about the most common crimes you see during the spring at a law firm, as well as the article that I wrote on Delaware legalizing marijuana. So if you have questions, once again, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey. Have a great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you all very soon.